Happy Wednesday, y'all. <laughs> um, they're out there putting in the electrical post. And um, I am happy to say that my electrical post is on this side of the cottage. It's not out in the front. I'm so glad they did that for me. Anyway... I am making some blueberry oatmeal bars. Now y'all, I've made, I think, two or three different kinds, and I believe this recipe is the one that turns out so that you can actually cut them into bars. So, I've really gotten everything ready already. Oh, check out my apron. Is that not beautiful, y'all? Look at that. Homemade. You don't see them like that anymore. I got it when Mr. Terry and I went to um, Julian. And we stopped at a couple of antique stores. And that's where I got my antique glasses. Down to four of those. It's heartbreaking. And I broke one of my little juice glasses this morning. I was drying it and I whipped around to see if Hazel was down the hallway going to the bedroom and I dropped it. So I had to spend a long time getting all that up. Oven's ready. So anyway, um, that's what we're making. And one of y'all told me that you had made this recipe two or three times and that you had to eat it with a fork. And I get you, honey. I hope this one is the right one. Now, let me first say, um, this recipe calls for a nine by nine pan. So because I'm using a nine by 13, I doubled this recipe, okay? Um, calls for one cup of flour, one cup of oats, two-thirds cup of brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, half a cup of cold butter, and 21 ounces of pie filling. Now, I really didn't like the pie filling, but look what I found. Blueberry preserves. Y'all, I have never seen blueberry in the store. Uh, raspberry, boysenberry, all kinds of berries, but I've never seen blueberries. So I'm hoping this is going to turn out good. It's not 21 ounces, and I don't care about that because I like a little filling and a lot of top and bottom. So I doubled this recipe. And everything in here is ready to be mixed up. And so I'm going to do that. Now, y'all, I had to cut the butter up into uh, small pieces, kind of like you do pie crust. And it says to cut it in with a pastry cutter. Now, y'all, I have almost justified buying a pastry cutter. You know, I am going to take on a pie crust here one of these days when I get really, really adventuresome. So, here we go. This looks pretty good. This was the easy part the easy part. Okay, now, um, I guess what I'm going to do is, you know, they tell you in a, when you're making a pie crust that you can use two knives and go like this. And it always says, uh, cut your butter up or your lard up into pea-sized pieces. Okay, so I'm going to do my best. Harry Carey. Okay, this is a lot of butter, y'all. Look at all that butter. 
Oh gosh, I love it so much. Great Lakes. So I'm going to put most of it in, but not all of it. And I don't know how this is going to turn out, y'all. Let me mix it in with this mixture so it won't stick to my knives so bad. I'm very awkward at this stuff. You know, people like Rachel Ray and the Galloping Gourmet and all these folks. I don't know how they make everything look so easy. Do they have body doubles? <laughs> Cooking doubles? Once it starts getting softened up, it's not so much cutting it as mashing it. Bloop. I'm telling you, if somebody were to ask me, I'm going to throw your butt out on a deserted island. What do you need to survive? Well, and hey, sweetie, I just noticed your little thumbnail. I would need an unending supply of Ritz crackers, strawberry jam, peanut butter, Jif, and butter. If that's the only three things I could have. Hold on, y'all. Let me grab Miss Hazel. What do you think you're doing, y'all? Okay, so anyway, that's probably what I'd have to say, because I just don't think, I don't know, doing without butter would be really, really hard. And the Ritz crackers, I'm going to tell y'all, I've been living off of those. Yesterday, I think that's all I ate, Ritz crackers and dip. That is not good. Oh, I had a bowl of oatmeal, and then this morning, I made myself eat two scrambled eggs. So, don't freak out. Okay, so, I'm going to try to work this butter in. I might should have put it all in at the same time. I don't know. We'll see, though, when it comes out of the oven. If it's drippy, droppy, or whatever. It sure is noisy, isn't it? Oh, I'm not even showing y'all what I'm doing. Because this is fascinating. Right here. Okay, y'all. Now, I don't know how much. I don't remember how much those little um, pastry cutters are, but... It can't be that much. 
Now, I do remember that, um, oh, you're not escaping. I do remember that you had to clean the, you know, in between the little blades periodically. small or whatever. Who cares? If they're a little mashed in there. Because I think with the pastry cutter, stuff gets pretty um, small. Okay. Now, it says to reserve a half a cup. So that would mean one cup. But what that does is it just puts a little layer on the top. So I think I'm going to do about half and half. I don't know how many cups that is. Do y'all know? Two cups of flour. I don't even know. Y'all, Miss Hazel has gotten to where she wants to sit with me for her long, long nap that she takes in the morning. And, yeah, I admit, I've been playing solitaire, but I'm going to stop that. That's going to be my... Get, get down in there, y'all. Okay, I'm mushing. I'm mushing. I don't care. Y'all know I hardly ever do anything the way you're supposed to. Like get married one time. Okay. Oops. Little mess over there. Alright, I'm used to that. Okay, so. Got my pan right there. Oh. Those are pretty heaping cups. I can always add more into it once I get this into the pan. You know, I can't do anything once I get my hands in it. Now, if this was meat, I'd have on some rubber gloves. There we go. I should have done this in the first place. Who needs a pastry cutter? Okay. You know, bacon always means that um, I have to mop the floor. Mr. Terry's coming over today. And um, we haven't seen each other in over a week. I don't really like for him to visit when it gets, you know, when it's really hot outside, because I think the older we get, the more sensitive we are to the heat. Okay, I've got that patted down pretty good. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. My husband used to just laugh at me because I would have so much fun in the kitchen. I'd be laughing at myself and he'd be like, Babe, what are you laughing at? I said, me. My sloppiness. He goes, oh, I get that all right. Okay. So, 
where is my new little handy dandy thing? Y'all, this is from Wilson, the baking people. I couldn't resist this little offset spatula. It was a dollar and 48 cents. Okay, so let's see here. I'm just going to put some little clumps. Now, it called for 21 ounces of pie filling in a 9 by 9 pan. That's a lot, y'all. I don't want my filling to make my oatmeal mushy. I want to be able to cut these bars. Okay, so now, ooh, I'm loving this little spatula. I'm trying to spread this out, but it's not that easy as you think. The oatmeal wants to come up. That's okay though. You know, I don't care. I'll show y'all this when I get it all smashed down. Now, I don't want it too close to the edges because I don't want it running over. And then, I am loving this little spatula, y'all. Woo! You know how when you get something and um, you think to yourself, self, why didn't you do this a long time ago? Well, I don't know. What, Miss Hazel? I swear, she's, it's 9.30. You can almost set your clock by this little girl. She's walking around, and she's making those little noises. It's not a whine. It's like a little, mm, mm, mm. You know what that means? It took me a while to figure that out. But what that means is, it is time for you to sit down with me. Because I'm ready to take my nap. Now, if I don't do it, I discovered, then she starts roaming around. And she does start whining. Or she will get on the floor and lay down. And then she... Um, I know, y'all hate that. I'm sorry. I'm going to show you. Hold on a second. I bought two spatulas at Walmart the other day. Uh, I think this is the bigger one. Might be the smaller one. I don't know. But you know what? Two of them for 88 cents. It amazes me how sometimes you can buy the smallest little thing and it'll be so expensive. But then you run into a deal like this, two spatulas for 88 cents. How do they do that? That's really cheap. So, I needed some that were just a little bit bigger for my bigger jars. Y'all ever been, you know, look, I am, I mean, I am wanting all this blueberry in here. Um, you notice how, uh, I don't know if y'all do this, but you know so many things bother me. It's like you'll be trying to clean out a jar and then you get it on the handle of your apparatus and you get it on your hand, I don't like that. Okay, so now we are almost ready to finish this up. Oh yeah, y'all. And if this is the correct recipe, then I will mark it. And I'll put it in a video. Sorry, y'all. Sometimes you just got to bang your utensils on your head. Okay. Now then, we are going to put...
put the rest of our topping. Oh yeah. You're supposed to mush it into the top of your blueberries. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. So now I'm spreading it out, mashing it down, trying to get it pretty even. There's some butter for you. Okay. I didn't say to mash it like you would, you know, concrete into the ground, but you do want to mash it a little bit. I think that may be one of the things, y'all, that helps you to be able to slice it into bars. Now, if I had been a really smart cookie, I would have lined my pan so I could have taken it out and cut it up neatly. But you know what? I don't care. I keep saying that. Y'all, I care about a lot of stuff, but this little, you know, stuff, this is not something you want to get yourself riled up about. No wonder my poor hands are so dry. I must wash them 20 times a day. You know, you pick Miss Hazel up to take her outside, and you just rinse your hands off, because you never know. You might stick your fingers in your mouth or something. And um, you pick her up to bring her back in. So, let me wipe off the edges of my pan. Y'all know I try to keep my pans looking decent. Okay. And I might have set that in like some brown sugar or something. You never know. So I'm going to wipe the bottom of that off. Okay. Here we are. So, I promise y'all, unless the world comes to an end, and I hope I see all of y'all in heaven, but unless that happens, I'm going to show you this when it comes out. And I think I've showed y'all before. It's nice and brown on top, and I always have to get a bite even if it's hot. Okay, y'all. Now, I don't time a lot of stuff. Whoa! Throwing you down in the sink. I don't time a lot of stuff. Um, cakes, you can kind of tell. They get a little brown on top, a little golden. Okay, while I'm confessing about spatulas, what else did I get the other day? Spatulas... Oh, my little offset thing. I ordered that online. I didn't pick that up. Um, spatulas. What else did I get? Oh. Now, I didn't really need measuring spoons, but these have a lot more different sizes, measurements. But I tell you why I picked these up. I think they were two dollars and something. Right here. You see that? Two tablespoons. Now you know I broke my other tablespoon that I used for cookies. I'm gonna be really careful with this one. Now I would have gotten the metal ones because they're really sturdy and they really last. But I just wasn't gonna pay seven, eight dollars. So I got that. Oh, oh. When I was at Hobby Lobby. Look what I got. Y'all know what that is? It's a cake brownie cupcake tester. You know what? I always wanted one of those. 
And I don't think I ever had one. I mean, I had almost everything. I told y'all I had almost everything except a pasta maker. I was not interested in doing that. But I don't think I ever had a real cake tester. And it was under $2. Okay, that's it, y'all. So, um, I'm going to have to throw everything in here in some hot water. Ow. Y'all, I'm trying so hard. My favorite flip-flops, you know, my nasty ones, the pink ones that I would give anything. I should have bought two pairs of these. But um, they have an arch support. And way back when, my doctor told me, you need to quit wearing those flat flip-flops. So I found these, and I think they were like $25. That's a lot for a pair of flip-flops. But the Rocket Dogs, and I can't tell you how many years I've had them. Over 10, for sure. And I wash them with a scrub brush, brush in the bathtub. More since I've been gardening. But anyway, they have an arch support in them. So I'm having to take that one off in in order to see it's getting better but right here is where it hurts now and i can't walk flat on it with my arch support so i walk around without a flip flop most of the time unless i go outside and y'all, it hurts right in here and right there. That bone right there. But I'm trying because, man, oh man. I remember what you said, sweetie. I remember what you said about your hip getting out of whack. Now, my whole left side hurts. Um, this shoulder uh, is really sore. And my hip and down my leg. But I know that's all going to get better. It takes time. It doesn't sound like a lot, but about 125 pounds. How can you gain weight off of peanut butter jam and Ritz crackers? It's easy. If you sit your behind in your recliner four or five hours a day, yeah. You're going to gain weight. Even if you didn't eat anything, you would gain weight. So I'm really going to try to move more. And the cooler it gets, the more I'll move. Oh my gosh, this is almost 30 minutes. I love y'all. Um, can't imagine my life without you. Thanks for hanging with me. And... Um, if the price of gas ever goes down, then I'll be out driving some more. I really miss that. But anyway, I have a no complaints. None. So, do something fun today. And all these workers are out here. It's time for Miss Hazel. She just keeps walking over here and looking at me. I don't know. Can y'all see my baby girl? She's got a sweater on this morning, y'all, because I'm telling you, it was cold. And I cannot stand to see my baby shiver. I can't. It just kills me. I would lay down on top of her. So she's got that thing going on. It's time for us to sit down and... um I'm going to answer comments, and I figured out how to do it correctly. Talk to y'all later. Bye now.